question. We can kind of turn this on its head. In the al -Anon literature, it says it's too much for most of us to live with an addict on our own. We need support. If you flip that on its head, I've always wondered, should the question be, is it too much for the addict to live with themselves? That's why they're doing what they're doing. And how do we compassionately and thoughtfully set boundaries and make a place that is safe for them to be in relationship with us? Is it too much for the addict to live with themselves without their addiction?